आई ए एस ऑफिसर नियाज खान हु इज ऑल्सो द डेप्यूटी सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द मध्य प्रदेश पब्लिक वर्क डिपार्टमेंट इज इन लीगल ट्रबल विद द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ओवर हिज अन अबैशेड ट्वीट अबाउट द लेटेस्ट सुपरहिट फिल्म द कश्मीर फाइल्स मध्य प्रदेश होम मिनिस्टर नरोत्तम मिश्रा टोल्ड न्यूज रिपोर्टर्स ऑन वेडनेसडे दैट अ शो कॉज नोटिस विल बी सेंट टू नियाज फॉर क्रॉसिंग द लाइन लास्ट वीक नियाज खान पोस्टेड अ सीरीज ऑफ ट्वीट्स ऑन द मूवी द कश्मीर फाइल्स हिज फर्स्ट ट्वीट रेड कश्मीर फाइल शोज द पेन ऑफ ब्राह्मण्स दे शुड बी अलाउड टू लिव सेफली इन कश्मीर विथ ऑल ऑनर द प्रोड्यूसर मस्ट ऑल्सो मेक अ मूवी टू शो द किलिंग्स ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मुस्लिम्स अक्रॉस सेवरल स्टेट्स Muslims are not insects but human beings and citizens of the country. In the following tweet he wrote thinking to write a book to show the massacre of Muslims on different occasions so that a movie like Kashmir Files could be produced by some producer so that the pain and suffering of minorities could be brought before Indians. MP Home Minister Mishra in an interaction with news reporters on Wednesday said I have seen Khan's tweets This is a serious issue. He is crossing and violating the Lakshman Rekha set for government officials. The state government will issue a show cause notice to him and seek his reply. Niyaz in one of his tweets also called on the producer of the Kashmir Files to donate all profits from the film to the education of Kashmiri Pandit children and the construction of homes for them in Kashmir. To which the film's director Vivek Agnihotri had reportedly responded saying he would like to meet Niyaz during his Bhopal visit later this month. The Kashmir Files tells the story of the exodus of the Kashmiri Pandits from the valley which took place in the 90s. The film has become the highest grossing film post pandemic crossing the 200 crore mark even before completing the second week. It has struck the right emotional chord with the audiences and that has translated in its box office numbers. The film was exempted from entertainment tax in several BJP ruled states including Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Gujarat. For more news and updates stay tuned to E Times.